Welcome to Arts and Crafts with Steve McDonald. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use these items to produce a 3D picture. So I've got a bit of canvas board here that I primed um, with normal primer in white and drawn just a generic flower on. I'm adding some um, filler, as you can see that was polyfiller, and some uh, PVA glue, just a builder's PVA glue, cheap one into a cup and I do add a bit of water to this and mix it around. Then I'm cutting up some twine, some normal twine to give it a little bit of texture and actually it helps it when it's set to be uh, firmer and harder. So as I see I've done the center of the flower and given that some texture and now what I'm going to be doing is going around the whole flower with the twine to help give it the 3D look prior to painting. So there we go. Now, when you first dip that in, it does take a bit of time sometimes to stick down and I have speeded up this video. So this is the flower. I've got all the way around the flower with the twine and now I'm going around the two leaves that I've drawn as well. And I'm putting a bit of glue down onto, or the glue mixture down onto uh, the leaf shape to allow it, allow it to stick. So there we go. I've done the stem. I filled it in with the same mixture that I used for the center of the flower and I've done all the leaves. Now I'm going to be using some PVA glue mixed down as a 50-50 ratio with water, some just normal toilet tissue, scissors, a brush and a little painter's knife to cover it all over and it is important to cover it over because it allows things to be uh, a little bit smoother and uh, easier to paint. So here I go over with the um, PVA glue and the water mixture and there we go it's fully covered i let this dry for a day before i then went back over it again and primed it and then also gave it a coat of um the silicon uh, no, sorry the latex paint this was the picture i first did on the background and i wasn't sure if i liked it before painting the flower with um alcohol inks and because it's got the latex covering on, you can use alcohol ink on alcohol ink and alcohol to give it a little bit of texture. So that was what it really looked like. I'm still really not sure I liked it. And in the end, I realized I hated it. So what I did was I used some acrylic uh, paint, um, brass acrylic paint, went over all that background, cut it all in as you can see I'm doing now and gave it some texture. So the next stage of making this is to fill the flower in with resin because of what I wanted it to look like was more of an enameled look and to give it a raised feel. So I've just got Arts and Crafts um, epoxy um, resin here that I'm covering it over. And you don't need to really cover it too much. You don't want it to bleed outside of the um, petals and the edge. So there we go. That's with the resin dried and I really quite like that. Uh, no, sorry, and so I'm getting the bubbles out of the resin here, so it's before the resin has dried. And that was a green fly that flew into my studio that I took out there, and a little bit of spillage. I don't want spillage because I didn't want the background resined, because I wanted it to be clear that it was a 3D picture. And now, where I've got a few little gaps, I'm just going in with a bit of resin on a uh, stick, and just filling that in, ensuring that I'm not oversaturating the area so it doesn't spill out. And onto the background. Getting rid of those last few bubbles that come up. So there we go, there's the resin has dried and now because it, the, the flower is right in the middle, I wanted to put something else to allow the eye to move around the picture. And I, I think this is quite a basic picture but it's but it was great fun to do. It was really enjoyable. And actually, it, it, the effect has been excellent. So I'm using um, black alcohol ink now just to fill in the grass and some of the other um, almost like poppy heads. They're just, again, generic silhouette. And I wanted this to be a silhouette as opposed to coloured. So there we go, that's with them nearly finished. And as you can see, that black alcohol ink has given a really good coverage. Um, and it, it, I, I think it looks really good and it does allow you 
to when you're looking at the picture when it's up on the wall for your eye to re move around the picture as well and they just took a few seconds to uh, sketch in I always sketch in first because if not I get lost and end up doing things the wrong way um, so the grass would be moving in the wrong direction and things so it, I just find it's easier to sketch in now I'm not a fine artist but my art is all about enjoying myself and, and, and having good fun. And to me, if you're doing that, then you're creating art. And if you're happy to have it on your walls, then all the, all the better. And this is actually now has gone up the, on the hall, hallway wall um, just above the stairs. And I've already had two people come in and say, oh, I like that picture, not realising I did it. Or oh, where did you get that from? So to me, that does show that... Um, it's it's different and I like different and I do like quite like this 3d um, approach to pictures as you'll see um, I will put a, a tag up to this picture just above um, that will link you to another 3d picture that I've done um, that's also on YouTube so just putting the finishing touches up and there we go thank you for watching please like and subscribe and leave a comment